Most people in America are familiar with what their rights are and what their rights aren't to their legal name. For example, there might be a person who has a legal name that's Esther, but she's not known with her professional network by that name. She might go by something else like Sally or Susie, but she doesn't want to use that original name that honors something of her heritage. But in her business world, she's known by that professional name. But in her private legal world, she might still have that name. Or at some point, because she is so accustomed to using her nickname, which might also be related to her relative, that she will keep the nickname and make that her real legal name. But let's talk about the name game. The name game is when someone gives you a name to call them, that is the name that you call them. You don't abuse that right because you might have discovered something else. You see, the person's not being fraudulent. They're just saying, this is what people call me in the streets, or this is what, how I'm known in my professional network. There are lying judges across America that try to disparage a person's professional name instead of using their legal name in a situation. We have to be careful of this because it ruins reputations of both the judge who performed illegally in that situation, but also the person who's being impacted by the situation. So let's not play the I'm in power game with I've discovered what your real name is. Great but I didn't empower you to utilize it. I didn't entreat you with it, and I did not gift it to you to use it, because everyone wants to be called what they like to be called. For example, in my family, I am called a particular set of initials for my family to feel comfortable and because they wish to. It's like having a junior in a family who's got the same name as their father. At the same time, when I'm in my professional room, I don't use that name that the family calls me. I use something else, and that is my right. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about who we are. Our nicknames are one thing. Our monikers might make us money, and our pen names might do the same. But when we're doing our business with companies, with publishers, with local practitioners of things that affect our personal life, we have the lawful right to use our legal name.